Game of Thrones, an epic tale of power, betrayal, and myth, premiered on April 17, 2011. The series is based on A Song of Ice and Fire, novels by George R. R. Martin. These books are notorious for their detailed characters and complex storylines, which the show aimed to parallel. It became HBO's attempt to fill the gaping fantasy void left by franchises like The Lord of the Rings. And boy did it deliver, for the most part. Right from the get-go, Game of Thrones came into our lives, dropping characters we couldn't help but invest in. We learned to love and often swiftly thereafter to let go of them, sometimes through a startlingly brutal death that would have us talking for days. Filmed across a European tapestry of castles, highlands, and sometimes a quarry or two in Belfast, the show became a behemoth of production quality. It painted a visceral and visual smorgasbord that probably spoiled us for most other shows. And just as these panoramas of Westeros pulled us into their fold, so did the storylines. Machiavellian plots weaved by the likes of Littlefinger and the quest for the Iron Throne had my buddies and me hosting watch parties in Portland like it was a Super Bowl event. The cultural phenomenon ran for eight seasons, giving us moments of shock that's etched into television history. Of course, it wasn't without its divisiveness, especially in the final seasons, but the show's impact is undeniable. For those who've come late to the party, the series holds up as a binge-worthy endeavor. Just make sure your attachments to characters come with the understanding that in the Game of Thrones, well, you know the rest. For fans yearning for more or perhaps an alternate universe ending, there's always the upcoming prequel series and the rest of those unreleased books, provided George R.R. R. Martin finishes them. Here's hoping.